Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to study further in Unit Three. The next topic of ours is that is relation among mu naught, epsilon naught, and c. So, what is this mu naught? Mu naught means the permeability, and what is this epsilon naught? Epsilon naught means the permittivity, and what is c? C means the speed of light. Okay. So now, why and why we are studying all this? We are going to see that is there any relation among all these three so we already know what we know that the value for this we know that absolute uh, permittivity in the free space in electrostatics we know 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught gives us what is the value for this we already know 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square this we already know now in just now in the previous video we have discussed about the value of this your mu naught so this is the value of your epsilon naught which we have seen and now what is this permeability mu naught upon 4 pi which is equals to 10 to the power minus tesla meter per ampere or this can be weber weber per meter ampere this is the unit which we have used so if you will compare these two equation you can find that only we will left with the multiplication of your mu naught into epsilon naught so what is the value of my mu naught mu naught value says mu naught upon 4 pi and what is the value of my epsilon naught if you will see epsilon naught here is in denominator so we will write it down this as 4 pi epsilon naught upon 1 correct so i am going to substitute the value what is the value of this particular this is 10 to the power minus 7 what is the value for this this value i have 1 upon 9 into 10 to the power 9 this is the value which i have okay when you are going to solve this you are going to get how we are going to do it when you are going to solve this particular you are going to get this comes out to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 Whole to the power two. After solving this, if you will see this, this is nothing but a speed of light. So I will get this as one upon c square. So what is that? I am already taking this LHS side mu naught into epsilon naught. So from this, I will get my expression as here I am writing my expression will be c is equals to under root of one upon mu naught into epsilon naught so this is the relation among these three so this is very important so keep it in mind next video we are going to see the application of your biot severt law